Steve Harvey, the best thing you can do is apologize to Murray and go back with her and just be back with that lady right there because Marjorie is going to leave your ass. It's Tuesday, and you know what it is. It's time to review the Queen's Supreme Court with Tiffany Fox. Let's so get let into it. Let me say this. The young lady, Tiffany Fox, it's strange that I heard her name before. I like, I know this girl name. So what I do is I always Google the person because it is rude to get down in the comments and be like, who is she? Okay, she's somebody who's on that bench and you ain't. But um, after I Googled her, I said, okay, I kind of remember her. And she is associated with uh, people like uh, Little Kim, um, Snoop Dogg, and um, I kind of forget the other names, but she's a rapper, right? I think she's done some things on Love and Hip Hop also. I think they said season five, I think. And um, she's a Sagittarius. And let me say this, there has never been a host on the Queen's Supreme Court that I think matched my uh, personality as much as she did. And I was just thoroughly impressed with her. I mean, thoroughly, okay? So um, let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about was the Nikki and Cardi thing. Now, I was in the live, and let me tell you something, I was very irritated, okay? Because I'm like, oh my God, not again. Damn, Maddie, not again. Um, Maddie didn't want to talk about it, but Tiffany had something to say. And oh, that hussy said it. So what I found about her that I love, that I will always love about a Sagittarian woman, they are reckless as fuck out the mouth. They don't have no cut cards. They don't care about your feelings. All they're going to do is just give you their facts. Now, I told you several times the Sagittarius think that they are the truth tellers of the universe. And it thinks they think that it is their purpose to tell everybody what is wrong with them. Right. But when it came down to what she had to say about Nicki Minaj to, to um, Maddie, I said, oh, kudos, bitch. Kudos, bitch. Because, um, you know, they say that Nikki has the reputation of sabotaging things behind the scenes. And when uh, Tiffany said what she said, when she was like, look, let me tell you something. I have had some, um, some um, poor interaction with the young lady also. She did some foul shit behind the scenes when we was on the red carpet. Thing was supposed to, things were supposed to happen in my career, my rap career. And she sabotaged it and i'm gonna tell you i experienced that for myself and maddie was silent well, let me tell you what the problem is with us libras we are loyal like nobody else is loyal now if we don't fuck with you you can stand over there in the corner and burn up and die we don't give two fucks about you but uh yeah i was thoroughly impressed with her she was like let's get into it maddie and i and i think that was something that maddie needed let's to move hear on. so then we get to steve harvey is canceled I'm going to tell you this much. First thing is, I don't know what he's going to do. Oh, because that daggone Madam Fifi, Marjorie Harvey, oh, she going to leave his ass. Steve Harvey, the best thing you can do is apologize to Murray and go back with her and just be back with that lady right there. Because Marjorie is going to leave your ass. If you think for once, is Marjorie a Libra? You know what? I think Marjorie Harvey, Harvey is a Libra. But see, it's a difference with Marjorie Harvey. Marjorie Harvey is a gold digger. And we are not loyal when we're doing, when we're gold digging. A Libra is never loyal when we're gold digging because child wants that bag gone. Shit. Love it. Uh, back to the darkest. Steve Harvey's show was canceled. I think his radio show was canceled too. And um, they're going to replace Steve Harvey with uh, Kelly Coxon. Now, I don't know how long that's going to last. But one thing that Maddie said was you don't get too comfortable in something that somebody else gave you. Networks don't want to affiliate with bullshit. When you bring in too much negativity to the, the show, oh honey, or the, or, or the network, you got to go. 
You got to go. You got to get the F off this radio station. You got to get the F off this network. Now, you can go down there to, you know, Clyde's Rump and Stump and have your old cabaret or two, you know, to get your money up or whatever. But what you can't do is have a show here on this network. I mean, shots to the BCU. Here go your severance package. Get the fuck out of here. I don't know what you and Marjorie going to do, but y'all figure it out. Y'all figure it out. So then we get to uh, Bill Cosby. So y'all really going to send Dr. Huxtable to jail? What kind of nigga shit? Anyway, he's supposed to be uh, getting anywhere between three, three and ten years. I said, do that ninja got three to ten years left to get him? driver that was teaching the kids how to drive. You know what? I think it was a poor, I think it was a poor choice. I really do. I think it was a... a uh, I think it was a lapse in judgment that she did, but I don't think she meant any harm. I think it was just something where she just wanted the kids to have some fun, you know, and even with her good intentions, the problem of it was that cell phones, uh, cell phones are the devil. That's all I can say. You know, social media is the devil child. All it takes is for one mother hooker to tape it. That's why I, I don't, mm mm. You need to live your life now like you are always on film. Okay? Always. That's what you got to do. Live your life like you always on film. And then won't shit happen. I mean, I don't even understand why people, like, commit crimes anymore. Because there's always somebody somewhere, like, recording some shit. Williams um, bowing down to Tiffany Haddish. I think that was just a simple gesture of, um, sister, do not take anything that I say to heart, you know? It was what I was feeling at the time, and you know I'm crazy, and you know I be on all kinds of drugs, and I be with the shit, okay? But, you know, I was already feeling a certain way, because that bitch Wanda was getting on my daggone nerves, and she thought she was going to get over on me. And you just so happened to be a casualty in that war. What I found was funny... But true was, um, you know, the basis of the situation was that Kat was saying that Tiffany Haddish is not that funny. A lot of people feel that way, that she's not that funny. And then um, Tiffany Fox asked Maddie, well, Maddie, do you think Tiffany Haddish is funny? She said, yeah. Sometimes. Um, I never really speak on Leslie Jones. Um only because I just don't like the fact that her comedy just comes from a place of a big, black, unattractive black woman. Now, that's not what I feel, but I think that's what white writers write her as. Then we get to the high school teacher who gave her student who she was hunching on a daggone F instead of an A. Because he wouldn't screw her no more. Listen, ladies, listen. Listen, Linda, listen. If you're going to be a cougar, don't let the young dude get up underneath your skin so bad that you end up tripping out over the young penis. Because you know he don't want you. You know that young penis don't want you. You know he want the little girl that lived next door to him. You know that. He don't want to be with you. He don't want to be your baby daddy. He don't want to be your boyfriend. All he want to do is scooch on top of you so he can get some experience so he can take it down the street to Kiki. That's what he want to do. Okay? So, let me give you cougars, cougars a lesson. You know, maybe y'all didn't have the right aunties. But whenever you sit dealing with a young dude, you know, and I know this young dude was 17 years old and, you know, that was below the line. But that motherfucker was consentable. He was consenting. Now, it's just the point that his he got a teen in his name, and that made it kind of gross and disgusting. I mean, ugh, like, I'm sure he smelled like milk behind the ears. Like, and his breath smelled like, I don't know, bubblicious. I don't know. So then we get to Kanye being mad that, you know, all the dudes is talking about Kim, you know, and Kiki. I'm saying to myself, who is talking about, who the f- Trust me, Drake is not talking about no damn Kim Kardashian. That is the last bitch. You know what I need to do? I need to just go on around there and just get with one of them damn Kardashian girls. That is the biggest come up in the world. Like, I need to, I need to, yes, I need to turn one of them Kardashian girls out and get paid, you know. You know the new come up is to have a baby by a Kardashian. 
You'll be a millionaire. Talked about Nick Cannon's having a large penis. I said, first of all, no, I said, first of all, when I seen that little uh, Instagram post to him, I said, does Nick Cannon have a perm? Is that a perm? I know your hair ain't that soft and luxurious, boy. Nick Cannon, I know you ain't got no perm. You know it's old Libra, man, damn Liesl, weasel. But he, you know, Nick Cannon, they said that his penis was quite large. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't. I don't do big penises. I don't know. Even when I look at it in a picture, I, I get frightened. They have this um, young lady that pooped on the police. I said, oh, that's new and different. Kudos to the new and different bitch. Have I ever pooped on the police? We get to one guy to go. And the names are, of course, Nicki Minaj, Remy Ma, Foxy Brown and Little Kim. Now, y'all know how I feel about Nicki Minaj. Um, and I'm glad they left out Cardi B's name because we're sick of it, right? But um I feel I, I feel a way about Nicki Minaj. I feel that she's accomplished for somebody that's been in the game for 10 years. So I'm gonna keep her. Right, I'm going to keep Foxy because I, I, I Foxy was hot as a mother sucker in the 90s when uh Jay Z was with the firm or when they both was with the firm. Um, Lil Kim, of course, she, she's not going nowhere now. The only reason why I'll say that um Remy Ma has to go because I don't think her body of work is strong enough to hang with the rest of the women to be quite honest now she's beautiful and she's doing a great job when it comes down to um love and hip-hop and i think they get ready to have a spinoff show from them and she did a hell of a job with sheetha but unfortunately i would say remy ma has to go because i don't think she has anything or has done anything enough for me to be like yeah you know but at any rate guys who would you choose to go and remember this the same people you meet on the way up is the same people you meet on the way down naysayers my patron loves have a good one Deuce. so it was like we can't on youtube see we're such a wholesome place on youtube i'm like girl i ain't never loading that story back bitch but if you want i'm gonna reshare it on facebook I'm going to reshare it on the book. Who's it? Hey, neighbor. Oh, my God, girl. I didn't even see you.